What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Tip Tuesday. Today's video, um, it's gonna be kind of short, honestly, but it is gonna be pretty effective. We're gonna switch things up from defensive side of the ball to offensive side of the ball. Last week's Tip Tuesday, if you didn't get to check it out, please go check it out. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description. It was a effective way to run man coverage. I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but with the amount of new corners coming out that are hitting, you know, 98, 99 speed, um, having high press thresholds, high man coverage thresholds. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is, you know, with the amount of good, crazy OP cornerbacks coming out, man has been coming easier and easier to run. So that's what I did my last Tip Tuesday on. If you want to go check it out, make sure, you know, go leave a like on it and all that good stuff. It helps me and encourages me to make more and more videos, especially Tip Tuesdays, which I know is one of your favorite series. Um, but in this video, guys, I'm going to be doing a semi-short, you know, uh, way to get uh, sevens in the goal line instead of uh, you know kicking threes and this is a very effective way to you know I guess you could say cheese and you know uh, you know just get sevens in the red zone and what we're gonna be doing is running fullback dives if you see me in the stream you see me all the time when I'm like inside the three yard line always getting sevens um, and yeah I'll show you guys um, what I'm talking about a lot of you guys were asking for this and you know I'm like you know what I don't have an idea for tip Tuesday this week hopefully I could come up with one in the following weeks but you know for now let me just drop this nice little gem and hopefully guys it helps you get sevens in the red zone which is very crucial in this year's game so guys all you're gonna really need is some sort of fullback dive I prefer to run it out of um, goal line and what you're gonna want is someone very tall at your fullback spot or someone who could jump very high. So for me, in my, I do use Kyle Pitts. I highly recommend you copying him. And it doesn't even have to be the full one. You could go cop his, um, whatever, his Team of the Week card. And you could just dive with him. But you see right here, guys. We are just, uh, let me make a better example. That was pretty easy. What we're going to do, basically, though, is we are going to just dive in the end zone. We're going to hold X right here. And we're going to get a nice dive uh, animation. Hopefully, I could show you guys. Boom dive in the end zone uh, we got stuffed up right there but real realistically guys you're gonna want to do this inside like the two yard line or so um i'm gonna choose a different defense because three four odd it's really not the best and you know i am like a yard or two away from the sweet spot like honestly it works really really well inside the two yard line and this is something um that you could do when you're trying to clock the game out if you're like on a second and one um you could do this to obviously score touchdowns and get sevens in the red zone but um honestly it's just a really effective way to move the ball in these goal to goal situations you see right here guys no nothing besides uh we're gonna hold square or x whatever console you are on you're not gonna want to hold rt you're just gonna want to go in boom we're gonna dive in the end zone and you will get caught up sometimes but the odds of you getting caught up four straight times is pretty rare and remember guys practice mode is always on some you know, BS is right here, boom, dive in the end zone. Um, I had a pretty clear shot. I can't control the way the defense is playing. Um, but, you know, the more times you'll see right here, just dive over them. And it's pretty glitchy. And I honestly saw Joel CP doing this first. And we all thought, you know what, you're going to fumble on this, right? But trust me, guys, there's no chances of fumbling. I've done this probably like 100 times, 200 times, 300 times. And you just never fumble, it seems to me. Um, you can obviously experiment with leapfrog if you want, but once more, I'm sorry if you can't see the camera. I'm trying to get the camera in. There we go. Uh, boom. You're just going to want to hold square, hold X, and you get a nice diving animation. Once more, you're going to want to have someone like Kyle Pitts. Um, you know, Gronk might be good on this. Kittle could be good on this. Waller could be good on this. Vernon Davis is okay on it. I have noticed with Vernon Davis, you do somehow, you do sometimes get caught up um, you know, when you're trying to do it, but this is very effective. If you've been tr having trouble scoring inside like the five yard line, you know, you could run this honestly like two times, um, get to the one yard line and boom, you could score. Um, but you know, really the sweet spot is inside the three yard line. And trust me guys, people are going to find ways to have defenses for it and this, that, and a third. But you know, if you flip your play, you audible to, um, you know, you playmaker him, move him to the other side for the run. If you do this, do that, like um, if you run it four straight times, odds are you're going to score. It's right there. You know, that animation happens a lot too, where they kind of get stuck up in like the air, but odds are you're going to end up scoring. 
and you know it's just really effective um don't take practice months defense they have stopped it a couple times but like i said man if you have like four downs from the one or two yard line you are 100 percent going to get in and sometimes they do call you short for some reason it's weird um when you're clearly past like that one right there i want to say it was pretty much a touchdown but you know the more you do it the more uh the higher percentage you're going to score uh whether it be you know inside the two inside the one and it's just really effective like there's no chance of them they there are a couple gap there are a couple gap shoots trust me but it's just so hard to set it up and then if they do that then you could like run sneak you could run a toss you could even pass out a goal line so um you mix this in guys and you know it'll help you in a lot of goal to goal situations i am getting stopped a couple times but you know it is what it is practice mode like i said there's a dude named aaron donald on that defense and the falcons o-line isn't the greatest if we're being real but you know you flip it you play make your run to the other side you run it to the left maybe i'm gonna try left right here like you could do so many things with this fullback dive it's a nice little short tip tuesday for you guys um someone wanted to see this a couple people were asking about it and yeah man you could easily score inside the one the two the three yard line if you you know uh you know put someone very tall there someone high jumping like i said i use pits on it and he gets the job done every single time and yeah so hopefully you enjoy that tip tuesday man i know it was kind of short one um but you know tip tuesday is a tip tuesday i try to make my stand on my word that i'm gonna drop a tip tuesday every week for as long as i can so um you know this is some content for you guys next week we'll get into some nice fire offensive tip tuesdays um we'll try to find something man because the content and the plays and all that type of stuff is pretty limited right now but you know me i'm gonna find some stuff for y'all hopefully you guys enjoy this video till next time guys leave a like if you like tip tuesday probably the best series on my channel peace